and welcome back to my channel. This plan with me is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm not entirely going to just sit and plan and hope for some goals and whatnot. This is more of a New Year's resolution check-in. If you're a skeptic and you're like, I don't do resolutions, then this video is not for you. Or maybe you could get inspired and learn something. Other than that, I love New Year's and I love birthdays and I love Mondays and the first of every month because it just symbolizes like fresh beginnings. Check yourself before you wreck yourself <laughs> to check yourself every now and then and like i mean i also believe you shouldn't like give up on goals like if you are going strong on a new goal and habit and you mess up get back on the horse like don't don't wait till the perfect day to start over again just keep going and i believe in progress and stuff so with that disclaimer out of the way Let's begin this video. In the new year, I had a lot of resolutions that I wanted to do, a lot of inward ones. Like I wanted to stop focusing on such bad things because I tend to focus on problems and not solutions and then like venting and letting it go. I have a hard time of letting go. So that was kind of like one of my resolutions. Another one was to have a more healthier lifestyle. So like taking vitamins and cutting out so much fast food and fried food has been like hard but possible. I've managed to successfully achieve some of my New Year's resolutions in the first month of January of 2021, but I also couldn't even fathom of where to begin on some other habits. And it's so easy to give up because it is known that a lot of New Year's resolutions and New Year, New Me habits tend to fade away and a lot of people tend to give up by Valentine's Day. And I wanted to make this video for any of the people struggling with establishing new habits or a new lifestyle or committing to a goal and having a hard time transitioning because yeah, even though it's the clock's stroke midnight and that it's a new year, it doesn't mean that you're automatically a new person. <laughs> You have to work at it every single day and you can't give up. And every time you mess up, get back on the horse and keep going. Well, I've been there, done that. I'm a very type A, Libra rising sun, a goal oriented, motivating person. And I still maybe accomplished 20% of my goals this month. So I've basically took the time at the end of the month before stepping into February, which <laughs> can we just talk about how perfect February is going to be because February 1st is a new month and it starts on a Monday and Mondays to me are the beginning of a new week and oh, Mondays are also when I just and get everything done so I'm just I'm kind of like fangirling over the fact that it's like a new month and it starts on a Monday which it doesn't have to it could start on a Friday like the new year did it doesn't have to be a perfect day just start whenever but I also can't help the fact that February 1st starts on a Monday. So basically I will go ahead and teach you from my experience that I collected over the past month of how to stay strong with your New Year's resolutions, whether you gave up, whether you haven't even started them, no matter who you are or where you're at in your progress or journey, this video is for you. And I definitely wanted to work on tackling debt. I wanted to read a book a week and read all of my books. I wanted to have a better skincare regimen and I wanted to work out and get healthy and strong and write in a gratitude journal and also post new content videos three times a week, grow my YouTube channel, sign an agent, grow my acting career, learn piano, learn a language, do this, do that till I fizzled and didn't do anything. You want to know why? You wanna know why? It wasn't that I was a failure. It wasn't that I was lazy or unmotivated and gave up. It was the fact that I put on way too much on my plate. Imagine you're at a buffet, you're excited. You wanna try the mac and cheese, the mashed potatoes, the corn, the, the beef, I don't know if you're vegan or whatever. It's metaphorical. Pizza, the ice cream, and you turn around and there's a chocolate fountain and you just wanna try it all because you think you can have it and it just seems so good. That is the number one problem, was putting too much on your plate because if you gorge out trying a little bit of everything, you're going to get full and sick and not finish any of things on the plate. You will have 1% of a dozen things. So what I recommend and what I need to sit myself down and focus on is that I need to take some of these goals and things that I want to do and off the plate, off the to-do list. 
even if time doesn't exist and it's an illusion and it's an excuse for why not, but it really is, you cannot accomplish a hundred things at a hundred percent. If you could focus on one thing with a hundred percent, you will get it done. I want to have all these skills and accomplishments under my belt that I end up not doing any of it because I'm trying to do too much that I burn out and I don't know where to begin because there's also certain kind of procrastinators and I'm the seventh, I'm one of the seven procrastinators where I'm the all or nothing. If I have too much to do, I won't get any of it done. Of the most successful artists in the planet, Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. What one thing do they have in common? They are successful number one female and male artists in the entire world. Exaggerating, but you know what I mean. What makes Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber so successful? Literally, it's because they focus on one thing with 100% focus. And a dozen things I wanted to accomplish and get done, I narrowed it down to five. They're little mini trickles. I wanna get my habits down. And I wanna read my books. I wanna learn piano. And I wanna commit to my YouTube. That means I have to get up and have a morning routine and a night routine before I go to bed. And anything in the middle is the big chunk of the one thing a day. So I gotta get up and spend the next first hour to two hours of just knocking out my skincare, my meditation, my prayer, like nothing else matters. I can't go to work, go to set, film a video, go hang out with anyone until I get up and do my habits. The second tip is after you figure out what you are gonna focus on accomplishing and doing, for your goal and in your month ahead or year total, is then give yourself almost like a schedule routine. Third thing that I recommend is having everything laid out for you. Insight and mind really does work. So if your goal is you wanna get into being healthier lifestyle, more incorporating fitness into your life and exercise, have the gym outfit already out. Another tip I recommend is you should probably start watching more motivational, informative, goal-oriented goal -oriented kind of educational videos. YouTube has plenty of that. Maybe start subscribing to those. Maybe start following them on Instagram and TikTok. And what I've also been doing to jumpstart my reading journey was I was reading books. Definitely recommend this book. This is Zero. The Alchemist, find people that inspire you and learn from them and their qualities. And that turned into like a rampage because I wanted it to be like an overall thing. Like every new day, every new month is supposed to make up the whole, which is your life and your new year of 2021. The reason that you have these resolutions is because you want to be a better version of yourself with all these goals and these habits and these accomplishments and this bucket list and this adventurous, wonderful life of 2021 in you. So remember, every time you screw up or you miss a day or you mess up or you give in to temptation, check yourself, get back on the horse and keep going and do better. New level is a new devil to face. So just realize you are on a journey. So if you never started your resolutions, started strong in January, but you fell off and now it's February and you're like, I give up. Or if you're staying strong, it doesn't matter where you are, start again because tomorrow is February 1st on a Monday and you can start again, you can keep going strong or you can start fresh for the first time ever. So what, you didn't start in the new year. So what, the first 30 days, we still have, what, 11 more months of 2021? You have the, the rest of your life to accomplish these goals. New Year's resolutions to me is just this great fun playground to let loose and go after your goals. What Martin Luther King you don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take the first step. Well, that's how resolutions are. Resolutions isn't just being perfect since day one of January 1st of the new year. Resolutions is about committing to change, change for the better. So that's what that's about. You have every single day of the new year. I don't care if you mess up Every single day, even in February, you don't even do well. Well, March is a new month. As long as you keep trying and go after your goals, I promise you, you will get them done. So hopefully my tips helped. I am going to, again, go after more of my resolutions and habits and goals, and I will check back with you in a month 
for March, which also starts on a Monday. So I will see you guys in spring with a checkup for the first 90 days and three months, the first quarter down of the new year. And maybe I'll learn something and maybe you'll learn something and we can educate each other in the comments. And yeah, happy new year. It's still new year to me and I still have my Christmas decorations up and I don't care. Hello. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Oh, it's midnight. Yes, so it is, but why? Goodbye. Oh, it's a beautiful dress. Did you ever see?